hello, I'm Jeffrey Nobles. I'm a, a professor of neurology at Baylor College of Medicine in Houston, Texas. And I uh, have run a laboratory for many years trying to discover how broken ion channels, such as the sodium channel, uh, alter the brain during the development and how they cause epilepsy. And one of the things we've learned is that these ion channels regulate the way brain cells fire, the patterns of their activity. If they fire too much or too little, uh, that is what happens when a sodium channel is altered by inheriting mutation. Now, one of the things that happens during the development of the brain is that depending on the pattern of firing in brain cells, the wiring can change. And we say that cells that fire together wire together. So it's very important that brain cells fire in their own special way, normally during development. Now what happens if you were born with one defective sodium ion channel, such as that that gives rise to the base syndrome, is um, that we'd like to fix that, that ion channel and make it work normally again. And But we're always wondering whether there would be um, any changes in the wiring of the brain that would not allow for full recovery. What I'd like to say is that uh, we don't completely know the answer, and it may depend on the way the channel uh, is altered. But in many cases, I believe there's a yes, very good reason to hope that if we could restore the function of the brain channel, it could really reverse a lot of the problems and, and make the brain work normally again. So we're very hopeful that we can find ways to do that, and how to turn that ion channel back on again and, and fix just like in a computer, just fix that one little transistor and make everything work.